James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is June 19, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two tropical waves. The National Hurricane Center has pointed out, it actually looks like we have a third tropical wave coming off of the continent of Africa currently. We will look at some spaghetti models, but first off we have the third tropical depression of the 2023 hurricane season. It's expected to become a hurricane now and go right through the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, the Bahamas, and eventually hit some portion of the United States or North America. I will show you spaghetti models in just a second on that. In orange, we also have an additional tropical wave that is forming and has come off the coast of Africa. It is behind the third depression of the 2023 hurricane season. And I guess that they will move uh, pretty close together as far as their track. We do have all the tracks lined out for you. Believe it or not, we actually have a third tropical wave that's coming off the African coast right now, which we will be able to show you all in just a second in radar. I believe that tropical depression number three would be Brett, the second tropical cyclone, if it were to completely form. Uh, currently, tropical depression three has been given a 100% chance of cyclone formation within the next 48 hours. So we are expecting hurricane out of tropical depression number three, which could very well be named Brett. Now we also have the two tropical waves, the one you see here in orange with a 40% chance of formation over the next several days, and one coming off the coast, as I indicated. And either of those could be named Cindy or Brett if they were able to form into a cyclone before tropical depression number three. Let's take a look at some spaghetti models and some infrared satellite of these storms. Over to my Fox Hurricane for some spaghetti models and some predictions. You can see that this is tropical depression number three, still unnamed. It very well could be named Brett or Cindy. And it looks like it's headed right into the Lesser Artilles, right below Puerto Rico, right below Dominican Republic, perhaps, or right into the Dominican Republic. And it looks like it could be headed into the Miami, Florida area at some point, and even the Bahama Islands. We have to keep a real eye on this one as it finds warmer water towards the United States and the North American continent, it will intensify from a Category 1 hurricane. Well, and we'll have to see how strong it does get. They're expecting a hurricane with 80 mile per hour winds in just a few days here hitting the Lesser Antilles. Now we do have spaghetti models on this and the actual tropical wave behind it. This is tropical depression number three. These are the spaghetti models. You can see that there is a lot of difference in the predictions of where this is going to go. Uh, most models have it going right into Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. And after that, well, there's some question based on maybe some wind shear from a cool front coming off of the United States or North American continent. Uh, we'll see what happens, but it is inbound, and currently it's in one of the worst positions it can be, and headed in one of the worst areas, uh, allowing it to strike the mainland of the United States. Now we can see that several models take it north, and even into Mexico, and a lot of the models have it hanging up around Puerto Rico, so we're going to have to keep a close eye on this one. All right, I'm going to put this in motion. This is actually covering 93 invest here. You can see the other tropical wave coming off 
of the coast of Africa here. And this, again, is depression number three. The tropical wave right here in between tropical depression number three and Africa seems to be intensifying and maybe will even catch up to depression number three. They're currently referring to this big area of disruption here, this tropical wave, as Invest 93L. And this area up here as depression number three. Uh, my sentiments are there is a third tropical wave, obviously, coming off the African coast currently. So we're going to have three cyclones, tropical cyclones, in play probably within the next few days. All right, these are the spaghetti models for Invest 93L, which is behind Tropical Depression number three. This could be named Cindy uh, or may never become a cyclone. But we can see only three sources are chiming in, and all of them are basically taking the storm to the north. This still could be a threat to the U.S. East Coast and for sure uh, even the Canadian East Coast. Obviously, the waters are not as warm up there as they are in the Caribbean and Florida area. Depends on what track this takes, but I've always told y'all the TABD track always seems to be right on, and that is the uh, purple or Fuqua model. It's taking it quite a bit uh, further south with a landing looking like it may be North Carolina, Virginia, and maybe even south of that. We'll have more information on that within 24 hours. This particular picture is a bit dated. It's both a 100% chance of formation within two days and a 100% chance of formation within seven days currently. This article here states that the waters in the Atlantic are atypically uh, very cool, and they were not expecting cyclone formation this early in the season coming off of Africa. That's exactly what we're seeing. I'd like to also point out other areas of interest surrounding the U.S. So we really, really need to keep our eyes open and uh, I will try to update you as things progress. In the meantime, we have tropical depression number three, the 100% chance of cyclone formation headed for the Lesser Antilles south of Puerto Rico, perhaps hitting the Dominican Republic, going into the Bahamas and making a mainland impact in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, maybe even north of that, although some spaghetti models take it up into the Atlantic. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.